<laughs> okay, okay, stop, cut, no, we're not doing this. Now recording. Oh yeah. Give it to me, baby. <laughs> Push me. And just watch <laughs> me so I can get oh, I like my battery. <laughs> my battery. <laughs> there are there are two kinds of dances now. We no longer say yeah. yes, we say affirmative. Yes. Affirmative affirmative. <laughs> <laughs> oh. uh, best comic duo ever. Well, soon to be dethroned, no doubt. Uh, by someone else. The confidence of the yeah, it's going a good time. Okay, so oh. this is season two of Le Podcast. And yes. we're basically going to pick topics and talk shit on these topics, you know, which That's reminds me of, you remember when YouTube was like first a thing and people were, uh, what were, were they just legit just called rant yeah. videos? I'm sorry. Hold on. You have to start that over again. Cause I lost you. Okay. So do you remember back in the day when YouTube was still kind of big? Yeah. I mean, it's it, okay. That was stupid. When it was new, right? Do you remember when people would just make videos about being angry? I'm pretty sure they were just called rant videos. Yeah, yeah, and then like the video diaries and stuff. Yeah, dude. I mean, yeah. now they just call vlogging. Sound like. And I guess we're doing something similar just without the video. Yeah. Maybe. Sorry. No, you good? Yeah, rant videos. That's basically what season two is going to be. We're going to pick a topic and we'll be like, you know what fucking sucks about this topic? This Hell yeah. is it. And it's gonna I'm be so great. Ready. Yeah. Hell yeah. So, I wanna rant. rant. <laughs> um so <laughs> office or and or workplace ish is what and, uh, this topic is on. And man, I'm sure there is so much so fucking much that the whole world has to talk about really when it comes to workplace shit. Yeah. Speaking of, oh my god. <laughs> Whew. What? I'm sorry. Speaking of workplace, I'm at work and I just realized someone in the building across the street has been hardcore staring at me and I'm so fucking uncomfortable. What are they doing? They're just standing there menacingly. The office is super dark, and there's, like, just barely a light in the hallway coming up through the top glass of their office, and I can see their silhouette in the window. Oh, my God. Is that another security guard? I don't think so. I'm going to try to get a picture. You don't do that to me. I don't want to be haunted. Dude, no, it's insidious, you're and mad, you're dog. dying. You're dying too. Am I gonna die? No. It's true. <laughs> no. This is so creepy. I hope we can put this on our website or something. Jesus. <laughs> okay. They're not even moving. Oh, okay. Um, what if it's just a mannequin? It can't be. It can't be not. Uh, not the way. It's... Yeah, I knew I had the heebie jeebies. Dude, there's been all kinds. No mannequin. There's been all kinds of creepy shit in this building here today, so I'm just I'm done. Sorry. <clears throat> we can we can probably cut a lot of that. I just fuck. I'll, I'll send you a picture. You'll see. You'll see. Mm. So, anyways, let's um let's get back into it, shall we? So workplace shit. Workplace all right. shit. All right, bring up one thing about the workplace that you're like, wow, this fucking shit. Mm. All right. All right. All right. <clears throat> It's a good idea. We'll do it uh, tit for tat because I could just go on and on. 
So yep. first thing is, I know you got to fucking come in and work, but like the people, when they get into work mode, and I do this too, like I'm not trying to us and them this, but you know, it's easier to see in other people. And that's how I realized and check myself. Anyways, bleh, I over explained. Um, basically when it comes down to it. Nothing else exists in the world except you and work, right? You're just a sure. car and a cable. Like you don't even know. And then like something different happens and you're like, fuck, we fear change. Like uh, in the lobby of the building I work in, we built a fucking wall. Uh, so construction wouldn't be bothered and they wouldn't bother anyone else. Mm-hmm. Dude, they threw that wall up over the weekend. People come in on Monday and some of them didn't even notice the wall until they're, you know, I, I knew this because they noticed on their way out. But whenever anyone noticed the wall, be it instantly or on their way out at the end of the day, they would jump like it was a tiger about to pounce on them. They would act like the wall was going to like do them harm because we just... We're so used to our routine. We just want to get to Friday and like, bam, something different. We fear change. It's fucking, I hate what work does to the human brain. It just, it's. Puts you on cable uh, car line. Yeah, yeah. What are those called? Yeah, yeah car I don't cable. know because I'm waiting for next Friday. <laughs> right? I fucking <laughs> Like, Jeez, uh, no uh, Friday night. Right. We know that's a thing, isn't it? Like, I I think it's weird that we're okay with, you know, five-sevenths of our life at least. For me, it's more. Uh, just going. Weird. weird number. Yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, there's seven days of the week and five of them we just give away. And then we're like, oh, we have two days to, like, kind of remotely get our personal life straight. That seems like a fair trade. You know, I was thinking about that. I was like, man, why is the week seven days long? Why can't it be four days? We were four days on, four days off. Honestly, I want to work three, like, 16 or 19 hour days and then just have four fucking days off. That'd be pretty nice. You know what I'm saying? Like, I would be so well rested from being off for four days and having fun doing whatever, cleaning my place and all that. That I would really knock them dead for those. Yeah, by like the third day, I'm like, yeah, I'm ready to go back to work. Whatever. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. That I think would be so fucking awesome, but whatever. Okay, so the the your uh work life ish that you brought up was that you hate that it puts blinders on people, right? That people are so consumed right. with but it's interesting because you run into people who just like don't want to do their job. And that's that's my biggest pet peeve, right? Is when you have people who <laughs> lack any and all like kind of motivation, right? They're like, well, I couldn't get my I couldn't get my email to work today, so I just didn't work for the rest of the day. And you're like, what? <laughs> yeah. Like, Whoa, okay. Uh, yeah, that's yeah, a big like, thing for me. It's just like, yeah. well, you see, goes- here is, uh, my app looks <laughs> it was disconnected. You're like, yeah, I don't know why I'm using this voice for this person. I'm not saying <laughs> all people with this voice are stupid, but the, you know, it's just a character. His name is Ryan. Okay, whatever. It's kind of a piece of <laughs> shit. You can hate him. Wow. Um, yeah. But it, I don't know. It's just interesting. Like some people are like, sky's blue. Can't work today. <laughs> Those go hand in hand, don't they? Like, people yeah. just get so empty from working that not only are they a total drone, but if there's any any adversity, it takes longer than 10 minutes well, to long. Any level of troubleshooting, them. right? Right, they're just like, nope. I just yeah, yeah, I'm not doing it. I'm a zombie. <laughs> like, I love that picture where it shows, like, Squidward being, like, totally miserable, and it says, when someone walks in, Five hours before the store closes. <laughs> <laughs> it's true, though. Dude, yeah, it's, it's true. Like, as, as someone who works really hard to please my customers and my boss, because that's like what we're all supposed to do, I hate walking into a place and the person that's supposed to be helping me is like out of control of their emotions and they're like being really shitty with me. It's like, Nah, if I don't get to, you don't get to. God damn it! <laughs> oh, interesting. Yeah, huh. and I think that goes hand in hand with what we were just talking about. You that last section, you were like pointed away from Michael. 
No, actually, uh, I was just in the wrong corner of the building, I guess. I'm trying to run away from those eyes that are staring at me. Uh, it's like that horse from Adventure Time that's got poo brain. Oh, God. It's got mad yeah. poo brain, dude. Um, yeah, I think another thing that I can't stand <laughs> about, and I maybe <laughs> uh, let's dust off the old soapbox here, but the idea <laughs> of dressing poorly means that you're poor. Or having a scraggly beard means you're poor. Or yeah. having tattoos is unacceptable. Like, basically being like, look, you have to wear... All right. Or we, or yeah. we don't know that you're a put-together person. And you're like, what? Yeah. And I get yeah. it. For certain jobs, okay. Whatever. But, like, if your job is just data entry, you, don't, you shouldn't have to wear a uniform or anything like that. You show up for your PJs, for Christ's sake. Like... There's these weird lines everywhere where people are like, oh, she's never going to get a job because she's covered in tattoos. You're like, oh, yeah. See, what happened was when the tattoos, uh, I woke up one morning and they were just there. They were on my arms and then I could never, I couldn't type ever again. <laughs> right. Credit scores just drops immediately. Just, just, I don't know what happened. And then, you know, I woke up and they spread onto my boyfriend onto the wall. And then they slowly manifested into a being that took all my money and went gambling. like. You know what I mean? Like, just because you have to. Right. Yeah, no. Well, you know, that's the thing, isn't it? It's not just uniforms. It's style in general. Style is peer pressure from people who look the same. <clears throat> style yeah. is peer pressure for the people that don't look the same, but they're too afraid to, you know, make an impact or be a social topic. So they just fucking jump right in you know well and i think that kind of feeds back to what you're talking about like any sort of change or adversity like people freak the fuck out like recently someone was talking to me like oh so um so and so um this person's super young though the person who's talking um but they were like oh so and so dyed their hair it's scary i have to get used to it and i'm like just it's hair <laughs> i'm like did the hair hold a knife to you <laughs> Right. I but I get it. Like everything's relative, but I think it's the same thing, right? Like you're in an office environment, and everybody wears gray suits with blue ties, right? And someone comes in and they're wearing like a hot pink dress. You're like, oh, kill the different ones. <laughs> like it's just weird. I yeah. it just I don't know. We're good at recognizing patterns and when patterns break. And you think that we'd be better at being like, oh, okay, well I'll adapt to this. This a situ being thrown into a situation where you're learning about change in a rap, like you know especially yeah. in like a quick environment. I feel like that's when we're at our best though. And that's what we should always try to strive to beat. Yeah, I agree entirely, but you're right. You know, there's like this uh, tribal mentality to it, isn't yeah. it? Like, well, you know, a lot of people like to show up to work and just put their head down and collect their paycheck, sit on Facebook for two hours and then fuck off. Right. So I just recently made the mistake of thinking that you could, you could give someone the opportunity to be a leader and they would be able to learn through the example you gave them while you were a leader. And that's a solid <laughs> no. Solid <laughs> note. Shut your fucking mouth. Uh, <laughs> um, yeah, I definitely like thought I could give this person a, a, a chance and they're just like not using any any tips or techniques or anything that I have worked with them on or anything like that. And they're just like, I don't know. Like, yeah, they just got their feet up. Huh? I just thought that everyone eventually, if given the right opportunity, could be a leader, and that is the uh, what was beaten to my head. I blame Disney. <laughs> I blame Disney. Well, honestly, I wouldn't say Disney. I, I would say Disney. you're the type of person. <laughs> Disney. <Disney. No. laughs> um, you're, you're the type of person that, if given the opportunity to advance or grow or improve, you would. And you just made the mistake of assuming other people. Yeah, I do tend to do that. I, I do tend to to make the mistake that other people think like me. Right. Uh, just I just I want to be nice to everyone and I want to do good things. And yeah, I don't know. Stop. Can we please can we please refer to this as an eighties movie mentality? And I'll explain <laughs> because I've recently been in a situation where I forgot that people, you know 
aren't going to take my transparency at face value. Oh man, I went on an ugly rant about this uh, this morning, actually, on someone I'm a total fan of on Instagram. And I kind of, I, I just woken up and I went nuts. But I, I, owned it. I owned it. I apologize, but I'm not deleting it. Anyways, um, oh. yeah, it not, dude, you better not be sending people your rigid banana, dude. <laughs> no, I didn't. I, will, I didn't send I banana. I, I went. Out. <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, but anyways, um, you know, there was a situation here and, you know, I was doing a little extra and I had somebody's back and, you know, some people were very put off by that. And then I, I, it hit me. It was like, dude, I was acting like those assholes at the end of an action movie in the 80s where, like, they straight up murder the fuck out of the bad guy and the police roll <laughs> up and they're still so standing there holding their guns and shit. Guy. Yeah, dude, they're holding their guns, and there's a fire in the background, and the cop's just like, I just know that you're the good guy somehow. <laughs> Looks like this guy got murdered. <laughs> and just has fun, you know. And it's like, no, they don't know. And yeah, I I totally get that. Totally get that. I've been training a lot of people lately, and uh, yeah, same thing. I'm like, look, you know, this is what you're supposed to do, but if you're <laughs> smart, you know... Right, if you're smart now, and then you can do this. And they're like, all right, I'll do nothing but that. And you're like, no. <laughs> it's not what I said. Yeah, don't get started on training, dude. I I have a group of people that I'm supposed to be rolling out a thing to. And I've literally been training them off and on for two years. It's the same training every time, over and over. And I get it. People learn in different ways. But when, like, your sole job is this thing. Right. And you can't call it the right name. Like, they're like Ron Swanson, right? Where they call people by the wrong names to show you that they don't really fucking care. Yeah. And instead of, like, using the tools that I give them to figure out what went wrong, they'll just email me. Because they're like, it's faster. It's better. Right? And I'm going to yeah. catch one, too. Because if I don't respond fast enough, they're going to be like, oh, she's not online. And oh, she's not doing her job. You know what I mean? So it's just like, right. ah. yeah, no, I totally get that. <laughs> uh, yeah, dude, mess. fucking workplace that. And so for a while, there was a lot of hardcore problems that we had going on in our office. Like these people are gone. They've been fired. But like, <laughs> he said, <laughs> you should wear a dress. Or no, you should wear heels in the office. I'm a leg fan <laughs> to someone. Wow, else. wow, yeah, that's... To that effect. I, I can't say the exact, the exact whatever, but like, what the fuck? That shit's straight out of a training video, like one of it those ridiculous, like ridiculous things that you would think would like never. Oh, happen. dude, I had to. Um, I recently had to re up on all that, all that training. And it's a new it's a new training video and they have like one character in this video. He's a piece of shit, dude. He's like, I don't know, I was just saying you're a nice lady, you got nice boobs, like we should totally do this. And I was just like, What the fuck? Wow. Who filmed this? Like, why are you on set doing this? Yeah. It was insane. We all know what it is. We 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 all see it. We all know how we want to react to it. We just don't. Right? Right. And that's a weird thing, right? Is that part of being hollowed out by working, right? Like, you know, make my money, right? Yeah, like you'll see, uh, you'll see a car crash, um, and you'll be like, "Dang, I'm one of the only people that witnessed that this dude's totally at fault." And you're like, "But I would have to go to court, and I would also be, yeah, I'm gonna miss uh, the new season of Lost, so." (laughs) 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 That's where they find out. Center of this island is run by an elephant, high on mushrooms. <laughs> you know, working in an office is literally just a group project, but just like on steroids, right? There's a couple Shit. people who are like, "Okay, I've got this. Okay, I've got this. I can. I'm. I've got this organized. We're gonna do this, and we're gonna do this, and we're gonna do that." And then there's the person who's like, "All right, all right, all right, all right, all right." Team meeting, uh, right? And then there's the yeah. other people who are like. Well, I didn't do any of it because you didn't tell me what to do. <laughs> oh my god, it's too real. That's right? 
Like you'll create an outline. You're like, okay, this, this, and this, and this needs to be done. I'm going to do this. And then everyone else just looks at you like, uh-huh. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it hurts. It hurts. The best it's... is when you're running a presentation, right? And you're like, okay, uh, we're going to hold questions until, you know, the, the slides are done because we just want to get this thing on the roll, right? Yeah. And then like you're two slides in and someone's like, yeah, but what about you? Like, oh, my dumb motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Slide. Right. Or like one of your people ask a question, you're like, no. You're like, you dumb bitch. It's the Mar and Tar Show. <laughs> hey, listener. You want a new phone? Yeah, you. Want a new phone because the one you just bought four months ago built by children in China isn't good enough? Or maybe you have a spending problem and just love spending money when you don't really need to. Well, we are not here to judge. We are here to offer you this special deal through MoFo. That's right, you little bitch. MoFo has the deal for you. Check it out. If you come to our wireless headquarters, MoFo will get you three brand spanking new phones for the price of six sports cars and potentially your soul. Don't need three phones, you say? Well, it won't matter because this deal is so great. And come on, we know you've been itching to upgrade your camera by almost 0.1% better than the one you have now. Don't be a schmuck stuck with last month's phone and upgrade your MoFo plan today to get the latest tech made by that dude in the turtleneck. We can't sell your info if you haven't bought our shit. So act now today and drive to your nearest MoFo dealer store. Please continue to consume. We love you. The Mar and Tar Show. <laughs> when it comes down to it, the next topic will be that one guy who is like towards the bottom of the ladder, but he's old, so he thinks he's everybody's boss. Oh, yes. I have run into those. I have physically thrown one out of my warehouse. <laughs> oh, that's cool. Uh, that, that, how'd that go for you? Actually, it went quite well. Um, you know, they've brought him back a few times because they've been desperate and shorthanded. But, Ooh. man, does he talk to me different? He well, thing is, he was, word. he was screaming and yelling at a 19-year-old kid. And I'm like... So that's totally you don't, you don't fucking do that. That is not acceptable. And he goes, oh, you don't talk to me in that tone. And I said it just the way I said it right there. I was like, hey, you can't talk to anybody like that. That's not acceptable. And he goes, you don't talk to me in that tone. And I fucking went off. And I don't raise my voice often. I, I think at this point, the only people that are our fans know that about me. <laughs> yeah, I fucking... Yeah. All I, I know is that you really like Nana's uh, peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. Yeah, dude. Um, why? Well, I, I was implying the only people that listen are our friends right now. So. Oh. <laughs> um, no, but not. anyways, no. I, well, they're your friends, anyways. Yeah. <laughs> um, no. yeah, I, I, I can, I can like get a little loud when having fun, but that's different. I'm talking about like actually young. I fucking screamed at this dude. I was like, Tom. You want to fucking go off on me about tone? And the dude started like, <laughs> kind of like shrinking back a little because he was come it up anything like when you told uh, someone to go to hell? <laughs> it was uh, it was probably more biblical than that because the dude <sighs> come up and he pushed his big fat stomach into mine, and I straight up pushed all my shit out like I was a dragonborn. I said, like, so off. Off, but, like with your stomach. Oh, yeah, so I pushed him away with my gut, which was hilarious because I don't really have a gut, but my rage just pushed every gut in my, every test in my <laughs> body. Me. Like, yeah, dude, I almost did. I, I feel like if he wasn't there to absorb the, the force, I would have split in half. But anyways, um, fucking, the dude just like, uh, 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 and I was like, go home. <laughs> and the dude gets to say something, I was like, Get the fuck out of my store. And like all the customers were just like, uh, you should probably leave, man. <laughs> and he was like, oh, and he left. But uh, 
Yeah, no. Yeah, no that, that actually kind of reminds me of, I was in a meeting at one point. Uh, it was a last minute thing that I really had no idea. But that's the thing, right? Like someone's like, yeah, you're going to do the thing. And you're like, I guess. And then sh- you show up to it and they're like, yeah, you're going to run this, right? And you're like, you know, if you told me at a time, I would probably be way more prepared for this. But okay, here we go. And yeah. so I ran this presentation. And I'm very informed when it comes to presentations. I'm not all about having to pull up your ass and be like, oh, yes, sir. No, sir. Like, you get nowhere with that. <laughs> like, if you yeah, want exactly. someone to actually, like, feel like they're absorbing the information, I don't want people to feel like they're looking me up and down trying to, yeah. you know, being like, oh, is this you... person poor? Is this person not poor? I don't want to talk to them. They snap. Like, oh, fuck. Yeah. Geez, let me just get the data across, bro. So, yeah, like, right, right. I'm walking back and forth in my chair. It's cold as fuck because the conference room has a thick door to it and it has its own air and it's uh-huh. set in like 62 and but yeah. it's totally not 62 because it's one tiny room with a fan on fucking blast and i'm like <laughs> i'm five seven like 120 on a good day right so <laughs> i'm like swaying in my chair i got an email after the thing because i was bouncing my like i was cold as fuck and I, obviously I didn't bring a fucking winter jacket to work with me, right? Yeah. So I get an email. It was like, you know, it's really distracting. Why we present? And I was, I just, it just fucking, and it was, it came from someone who is basically falling asleep during the presentation, and I wanted to fucking murder them. I yeah, wanted. You know I, mean. I just was like, I, you and me, right now, let's go. I'll go to jail. <laughs> no, let's fucking go. So yeah. That's my problem in any professional environment is not being venomous. Um, you know, if someone sent me that shit and they were the person that was like falling asleep. I've been like, well, I'm just glad I could keep you awake. Fuck you. <laughs> well, I what I said, I was like, well, unfortunately, because I'm I I'm skinnier than everyone else in that room. Nobody had the same problem I had. I was very cold and I was moving to keep warm because standing to talk to you guys while I was sitting under the fan, mind you. I was getting goosebumps and super... I, You know, I straight up told him while I was moving, and then he just never responded. And I was just like, oh, what? Like, yeah. it was unnecessary to send me that comment. So I was swaying in my chair while I was presenting. Yeah. There were four people in the room. I, I kid you not, there were four people in the room. None of those motherfuckers were the president. Not, you know, Or, you know, whoever. I don't... And even then, and if I was presenting the president, I don't care if it was the president of Ash Cheese, I would still yeah. stay in my chair. I don't give a fuck. Exactly. Seriously, I hate that. You know, the whole stand when you're addressed and all that stuff, that's literally the equivalent of, oh, yes, my lord. Fucking yeah. bullshit. Yeah, fuck it's class, and it's bullshit. It's garbage, fuck, and it sucks. Anyways, there's, yeah, there's so... a specific line of respect, and then there's just, like, pissing on yourself just because you think... That you make a fuck off. Right, exactly. Fucking that's like uh that, that got me in some deep shit with my district manager. Every yeah. time he'd come in, I would fucking spank his ass. Fucking he'd come in, well uh, why isn't everyone done with their, you know, five million hours of training? And I'd be like, Well, you know, uh why don't you log into the training center? I need to show you something before we talk. I was like, What? He's like Already, like, did he just tell me to do something after I asked him a question? Who the fuck is this guy, you know? He goes yeah. in, he stands at the computer for 10 minutes. Huh, I can't log into this one. Goes over to the next one. Repeats the process till he gets done with all the computers. He goes, uh, I can't log in. I was like, yeah, that's what the email I sent you three weeks ago said. Uh, <laughs> but also, if we could log in, when exactly are we supposed to get it done? Uh, in between, you know are actual hours of business where everybody has a job to do while they're here on top of us being shorthanded. And he was just, bah, bah, bah. <laughs> yeah, but, and like, he would always come in and complain to me about stuff. Thinks that they can just coast, right? Where he can just tell you to do yeah. something and put his hands on his head. Like, man, fuck you, yeah. dude. Yeah. Seriously. Fucking ah, just insane. So I'm going to circle back for my new thing to rag on about work and i'm actually circling back training here's my favorite okay let's say we put you on a job and they say 
that Thompson is going to train you and you're going to replace Thompson, right? So Thompson trains you to, you know, look around the corner, make sure everything's good, you know, just do a couple really minor tasks and then put your feet up and fall asleep at your desk all night. Okay. Okay. <laughs> So Thompson trains you that for a couple of days and you start doing that. And then they come around and they're livid that you're doing what Thompson does. And then they explain that they absolutely hate Thompson and he never did anything right. But then nobody else fucking trains you. <laughs> like, Oh my God. It's like, it's like if I was in like full control of my body and I started to get a tumor and I was like, I don't like these cells and how they're reproducing. I'm going to have them train the other cells how to reproduce and hope I don't get more tumors. Like, no, <laughs> that's not what you do. <laughs> I, don't know. Uh, I think it sounds like you might be the tumor yourself. When I go somewhere, I force the boss's boss to train me because he's the only motherfucker who knows what they want. Anyone else that trains me, they're going to train me how to do shit the way they do it. If they're competent, they know what they want. (laughs) Well, no, that's true. I've worked at a lot of places, which should probably segue to the next rant. And that is when you have a general manager and an assistant general manager. (laughs) And you've got two-headed dragon. Yo, uh, go take all the toilet paper out of the restrooms. We don't need that shit. And then the other one comes along. Oh my God! What are you doing? Put all the toilet paper back in the restrooms. <laughs> like, listen, <laughs> we're putting it in or not? <laughs> yeah, no, I, it's funny because I just recently left a job, and my old team is still contacting me because the two new t- uh, people uh, that took my place are like fighting. So oh there's no communication. Uh, between the team until the the team meeting. Guess when the team meeting is? Every end of the week. Every end of the week. Right. Every every end of the week. Yeah, pretty much. (laughs) It's like, how are people supposed to know what they're working on? Seriously. And it's funny because these two new uh, people basically fight in front of the team. Uh, They don't answer emails fast enough. Uh, for upper management and a whole bunch of other stuff, and it's just like, what are you? What are you do? What are you doing? <laughs> yeah. Oh. No, I. I yeah. Goddamn. But it's weird, right? Like because of like the way we live and the way everything's set up, like you you have to work. Um, it's just what. You're wow! I finally got those pictures. I can't remember now because I looked at these pictures and I enhanced, and it scared the shit out of me. Sorry, but you had to see it. <laughs> uh, well, I zoomed it in and I sent it to you, so I hope you're horrified. Oh my God! I'm enhanced. I enhanced. Oh, <laughs> oh yeah. I mean, like huh? That doesn't look like a human. No, it doesn't, does it? I think it's like a coat rack or something. That's what I was thinking too, but like there's the two leg like structures at the base. No, it could and be swear, I'm serious, I it swear. could be sleeve. That's true. That... I swear there was a bit of wobble to it, like someone leaning against the glass so as to look better, but uh, No, nah, dude, you can't even see where their actual arms are. This this being has no shoulders. I don't think it's real. That or it's a ghost. I'm just saying, um, we've had construction crews quit outright because they saw a dude run into an office with no other exit and they go up in there and there's nobody. Nah. I don't believe in I don't believe in that <laughs> bullshit. Do you think maybe they were showing up to work and then there was uh, something minorly different or inconvenient, so they just noped? <laughs> Maybe. See, see how that came full circle? Look yeah. at that. That's called continuity, <laughs> people. <laughs> tiny, tiny full circle, but it was... Yeah. You hear this? Weekend. I really that- can't remember what you were talking about, and I'm sure the audience is like, bitch, he was talking about this, but you know what? That's fine. Yeah. 
Yeah, I'm a stupid bitch anyway, and I don't remember, so it's cool. Anyways, I'm patting myself on the back for that continuity. That was nice. That's good. Good for you. Man, fuck. I've got so much more bitching about the workplace to do. Well, you don't want to be too much bitching, right? (laughs) No, it's true. But, you know, I was going to make it funny because I'm great and I'm awesome. Well, your sound is terrible. So (sighs) That's somehow your fault. (laughs) You you let them in. My mistake, Jacqueline. Speaking of I get work. To blame you. I get to blame Speaking you. of work. <laughs> Fucking really though. Oh man. I love that not my job thing. How about that mm. one? I don't know what I was talking about before, but how about the not my job or the too bad? Oh man, I love that. You know, you're on the phone with a customer that you know the manager is like, you know. Look, we do anything for this customer. I, I put my tongue in their mouth once, whatever. It's doing. <laughs> so then you're on the phone with them, but they're having a bad day or they're in a mood, right? You're on the phone with the customer like, yo, where's the lamb sauce? So you turn to your manager and you're like, hey, uh, where's the lamb sauce? I mean, fuck that guy. Whatever. I don't give a damn. You're like, I'm on the phone with them. I'm glad you don't want to deal with it, which is your job. That's cool. What the fuck do I do? Because when I turn the customer off with my incompetence, because I'm not you, you're going to say, oh, my God, why are these customers? Oh, like, oh. Yeah, 100%. Oh, yeah. But the not my job is a different animal. It's it's related, but I had to start small. You know, I had to start yeah. with, you know, with Neanderthal. Now we're up to the re- <laughs> rectus. <laughs> it is weird when you run into people who just, again, like, what we're, we're, constantly coming back to people who just don't want to troubleshoot they have they don't have the energy they want to go home they want to watch football they don't want to care about what's going on in the world i don't know why i picked football but it's an example actually you should you should go into football a little more here in a second when i get done with mine because Uh, that is that's a work thing like my personality about fucking sports Ooh yeah i like that i like that yeah, and honestly, we could do a whole episode on, like, office attire. Like, especially, oh, yeah. I, I had a brief stint with, like, people in marketing, and it's so, oh, my God, his pinky ring didn't even match his belt buckle. <laughs> what a fucking peasant. It's like. It's uh, like you're watching American Psycho, and they're, like, evaluating each yeah. other's business cards. What the it's, fuck? It's just like that, dude. Like, it's the, it's the. It's like a metaphorical version of like dogs sniffing each other's asses. Like it's a different. Yeah, like they're just trying to figure out how healthy you are. Okay. Yeah, dude, they come in and they're like, "Yo, sports ball," and you're sitting there eating your lunch, and they come right up and put their face in your lunch, like, huh, "What type of food are you eating with your mouth?" And I'm like, "Do you think this is okay? <laughs> I'll bite you." <laughs> maybe, maybe I'm the problem here because I'm a fucking savage, but I will fucking. Bite your nose off, dude. Get the fuck out of my shit. No, like, that, we, that's we've how come we to the conclusion that you don't like being around people. Uh, that's true. <laughs> so any sort of work environment where someone's like, hey, are you feeling today? And you're like, eh, hiss. Right. I don't want to run <laughs> right. No. Yeah. Because basically when it comes down to it, we're just a bunch of crows and raccoons in a, in a skin suit. Oh, yeah, right. definitely. I mean... Was it you and I who drunkenly basically harassed? <laughs> <laughs> I, I was trying to sneak a little water. This. I don't know oh. if this, but yeah. Do you want to talk? Um, do you want I'm to doing it? it. Okay. I'm doing it. I'm okay. doing it. Even though I love when you tell stories, I'm doing it. Okay. So. <laughs> we just got done drinking whiskey, but not just any whiskey, motherfucking scotch. <laughs> and we're wearing our super cool, we're off work, we don't give a damn outfits. Um, I think I was wearing like some Pokemon shit or something. Yeah, yeah. it was like that same outfit that guy in the YouTube video with the pole on his crotch. Right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah I, had my, I had my arm crutches <laughs> and my leather. Yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I love that guy. From fucking Soul Calibur. Let's go. <laughs> fucking cock yeah, yeah. all around. Let's go. Yeah. I was like the dad from the people who live under the stairs. I had the zipper suit and the, the, the yeah. gauge. Just... Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No. Anyways, um, no, we're just wearing like, you know, youthful, energetic clothes. And 
you know, we're, we're, we may or may not look like uh, the Hot Topic catalog. Anyways, <laughs> we're walking down the hill. And there is the most gorgeous, adorable uh, fucking husky. And we're fucking pretty smashed as it is. Uh, soon to be way worse. I, it was great. Oh, yeah. I had a lot of people that wanted to see that movie with me. And I was like, well, here's the deal. See Deadpool, right? There's still I was like, I, I've got to see Deadpool with Mark. But if I get drunk enough, it'll be like seeing it all over again for the first time with my friends. <laughs> one. Uh, see, that's diplomacy, folks. That's solving the problem. I'm so there you go. Just get wasted, <laughs> dude. <laughs> so we get down the as we're coming around the corner, <clears throat> there's this beautiful husky. Yep. And we're just like, oh my gosh, you're precious. You know, we don't get up in it and like jam our hands in his mouth like some people do, because that's you know that's the up but you know we're just like wow that's so beautiful as we're you know walking up <laughs> and this woman this short lady with like real cake like embellished makeup and like gaudy jewelry she got the the fur around the hood of her coat she's wearing a big white puffy coat like just the typical like super wealthy you know she is so disgusted with us that she's got a look and a sound like diarrhea is coming out of her butt. <laughs> like she's she literally goes, Ugh. and it wasn't even like jokingly. <laughs> they were unironically fucking. Yeah, they didn't like us. She did not like us. <laughs> and we both just went full crow. Now we didn't like surround her and harass her or like hit her in the back of the head or anything. But like I'm just like yeah. And- now I guess. Mark goes, yeah, and I go, who's this bitch? Who's this bitch? <laughs> and as we're walking the other direction, we just get louder. We keep repeating the sound she made. <laughs> we did. It was amazing. We're just like, oh. <laughs> That's so stupid. So basically, you know, they were like a perfect, innocent little dove preening themselves in their white feathers. And me and Mal, or me and Mar just flew out. <laughs> 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 like, it's funny because, like, all I think were the crows that sit outside my window during this time of year that literally are crowing so hard they're rocking back and forth on a tree branch. They're just like, I love it. Do you remember that crow oh, that used to, that crow that used to be on the corner of mom and dad's property? And as we left to go to school in the morning, it would open its wings and it would bob its head up and down while doing a full. <laughs> that thing was amazing. I used to yell at it out the window. That or the vultures that used to hang out on that dead tree right near the uh, graveyard. Well, <laughs> yeah. Dude. I'll, yeah. tell you one thing, though. I'll tell you one thing, though. We might have been crows on the way to that theater, but on the way from, we were the little penguins from Mario Party 2 that slip and fall on the ice. <laughs> <laughs> you know, dude, there was frozen rain all over everything, and we had to go down some steep hills and sidewalks. It got to the point where we would just like lay down and dig our elbows in for traction, like yeah. So there was a <laughs> point in time where I was like, I'm, I'm surprised we haven't been picked up for being uh, drunk in public. <laughs> Serious, dude. I remember Serious. ordering a bag of like mini Snickers at the movie theater and being like, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I got the dibs, and it was amazing. Oh, that's what it was. I think it was dibs. Yeah, I think yeah. Right. And let me tell you what. One more reference to how amazing we were, and that is the second Blues Brothers movie where they go into the wealthy restaurant and harass their friend. <laughs> <laughs> how much for the child? <laughs> how much for the child? Um, no, it was a good time, but... um. um yeah, and we can't have this. We will have them again. And we'll be even scarier because we'll be even more grown up. Yeah, I, you know what? I'm <laughs> covered in tattoos now. Like, if yeah. we're like, okay, so I got my first sleeve and I was like, haha, I'm covered in tattoos. Haha. And then I got <laughs> my second sleeve <laughs> and I was like, oh, this is, this is a lot of tattoos. And then I got like all, let me count, one, two, five, five pieces on my torso and my chest. And now I'm like, yeah, I got, I got a lot of tattoos. <laughs> God, I can't wait. I'm, I'm eventually going to get some ink, but it's like, one, I've got a bazillion scars, but two, 
I know I'm I just know I'm gonna be getting more scars. And if someone messes up my tattoo, it's gonna yeah. escalate the situation. Yeah, that point though, <laughs> it just doesn't fucking matter. Like if I if something happened to me or I was skateboarding or something and I landed on my elbows and fucked up my my tattoos, I would I would just get like I don't know, a werewolf like flipping people off or something. I like at this point, like it's like <laughs> I don't know. I <laughs> Maybe like I grew up watching too many Blink-182 music videos. but <laughs> <laughs> like, I don't know. I was watching the producers, and at one point, one of the characters says, stop the world. I want to get on. I want to live. And I know, Damn. I don't I get so caught up in, like, so, like, this whole thing with COVID and, like, teleworking and all this stuff, like, forcing people to go to a place and work straight eight hours that's when you get people who sit on Facebook for two hours. When if they finish all their tasks for the day. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like what? Right. Like, I but, get they didn't, but they didn't lose any money either. Like yeah. they could just, yeah. Just go, Man, go man. fucking home. Like Man, be I, wild. You, you run into people who are just like checking boxes, basically. Yeah. yeah. And I think a lot of that. Now, don't get me wrong. Some people really thrive in those environments where they're they're okay with going to work. They're okay with doing the same thing every day, day in, day out. But the this COVID thing has really brought me around to like I don't like what I'm doing. Yeah, and I need to do something different. I need to be creative. I need to be pushing something. I mm. something needs to be happening. And that brings me to another rant. Ooh, the- baby, this is the last one of the night. The hiring process it's oh, Maybe we, that's, yeah. that's an entirely different. We could call it interview shit. You know what? We'll do that. We'll have to do that, yeah, actually. We'll Good have to practice. do, like, an entirely different, like... There's so much. <laughs> oh, man. That is As a hot little potato. Has interviewed and been an interviewee. I Man, there's so much. There's so much to talk about there. There really is. Uh, there's so much, dude. Obviously, Fuck we got to bring up our Lord and Savior, John Cleese. Yeah, boy. <laughs> Michael Palin. But we'll get yeah. to that point. But I think this is a good start with our uh, first episode of season two. Yeah. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm liking this. I'm liking this a lot better. We, uh, Me and Mar, you know, we've definitely had some knocks between first and second season, so... That and but you know what? Our last episode was recorded in, in like mid July, so we're not really that far off, right? Uh, no, definitely. Yeah, definitely. So, <laughs> the way this is gonna it. go is we'll take listener mail anytime you guys want to send in something. You can send it to uh Instagram, you can send it to our email social ish 69420 at gmail.com, or you can hit me up on my Instagram, uh, malware5000. Um, you can hit us up at Marmalade Tar Pit on Instagram as well. We do have a website, but I think we're in the middle of kind of consolidating a bunch of stuff. So, um, yeah, just reaching out to us when you want to. We were initially like the our whole first season was like prompting to engage with the audience, which was really cool. But I think later on, being able to read listener mail, I think is yeah. be more rewarding. Because yeah, honestly. not a lot of people seem that jazzed up about doing it in general. So I think the stories we will get will be uh, yeah. more full, I think. Agreed. Agreed. Yeah. Like, tell us tell us about your day if you had a wild day. Or tell us a funny story that we reminded you of on our last episode. Like, yeah. we'll read that shit if you want us to. And we'll probably be laughing and, you know, it'll probably be. So what we'll do is we'll kind of do what we're doing now is we'll just do it at the end of our episode. We'll we'll talk about listener mail. Like, yeah, uh, exactly. We'll, uh, we'll have a nice free flow session of rant because let's face it, I don't know about y'all, but rage fueled comedy is the best because we all feel rage and we all want to laugh. Those are like oh, some of the some of the most powerful forces in our minds. I could be like super sad, but something can still piss me off or make me laugh. <laughs> <laughs> In fact, that's basically my life. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Oh my uh, 
Um, okay, so our first season was set up so you guys could get to know us. And uh, basically, the second season is you guys are just going to listen to us talk now. So we yeah, don't want uh, sometimes what you pull from us may not be what we mean. Uh, so we apologize on that. And uh, I just want to end it with I love you guys. Or, you know, if you don't like that word, <laughs> hi. <laughs> Um, I don't know what else to say to that, but yeah. Love is a human emotion, and it is obsolete. Oh, no. <laughs> obsolete um, and emotions. So with nice. that, we say goodbye to you. Yeah. Bye. 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 I love you more, by Bye. the way. Ha <laughs> ha.